truth cannot contradict truth. My dear sisters and brothers, truth cannot contradict truth. It can only complete itself. Today we celebrate St. Thomas Aquinas, born in a noble Italian family. He was educated by the Benedictines and the family expected him to join the Benedictine order and go on to occupy a suitable position. But disappointing them, Aquinas would choose to join the Dominicans, uh, an order of preachers who went from place to place. And the family was so disheartened and discouraged by his decision and actually angered that they kidnapped him and kept him without letting him out of the house. But little did they realize that uh, Thomas Aquinas was more stubborn than they were. And finally, he had his way. He went to Paris and uh, studied philosophy, and the rest is history. My dear sisters and brothers, during the time of Aquinas, the philosophy of Aristotle was becoming very popular. But then there was also that wrong idea among the Christians that the philosophy of Aristotle was in contradiction to the teachings of Christianity. And so the Aristotelian philosophy was actually forbidden from many of the Christian circles, more so within the Catholic circles. But Thomas Aquinas would say time and again, truth cannot contradict truth. If the truth propagated by the great Aristotle, the one who is infallible, the pagan teacher, seems contrary to the faith taught by Christianity, which we know to be true, Thomas Aquinas would go on to say that either Aristotle is wrong or the contradiction is illusory. And so this sort of uh, common sense and straightforward thinking actually won. He would go on to study Aristotle and he would defend the faith. My dear sisters and brothers, as we go through this Eucharist, let's pray that uh, through the intercession of St. Thomas Aquinas, who gave us the Summa Theologiae, his treatise on faith, let's pray that uh, when a doubt comes about in our mind, you and I will delve deeper into the truth and find out for ourselves what reality is. May we, in all we do, uphold truth. What our world and our nation today needs is truth, undistilled truth, unfiltered truth, truth that is not biased, not prejudiced by anyone, by anything. Let's pray that you and I will always uphold truth. And truth cannot contradict truth. <laughs>